Good day. Welcome to InnoVise educational series of videos. What we're going to show here is Info Swim to ICM Swim and ICM Swim Networks. So the first thing we do using ICM is to make a model group. We'll just call that Info Swim Import. So now we have a model group, and from that model group, we will import all of a scenario from Info Swim. So we have the choices there, Info Swim, XP Swim, and Swim 5. So we're going to import an MXD file. We'll load up the MXD file. We have the option of importing any existing scenario from Info Swim. And now we'll import. So what we're doing here is we're exporting from Info Swim directly to an IMP file that's read directly by, Info, by ICM. So there's a few warning messages. We get all of the data. We get the network, we get the rainfall, we get the patterns, we get the drive of the flow, um, et cetera. So we've imported our model. We can uh, zoom to selection. We can validate. And normally the validation is um, without any errors. So we have a few warning messages, um, and that basically normal SWIM 5 messages. And as you can see, we have SWIM 5 or Info SWIM messages in the, in the properties editor. So we'll commit that. Now we're committing the model. Now we can use the model in actual run. But before we do that, we're going to make an InfoWorks network out of this um, ICM SWIM network. So we'll call that InfoWorks from InfoSwim. We'll make a new InfoWorks ICM network. We um, drag it out to the geo plan. And now what we'll do is we'll import that model directly into ICM from or just import a SWIM network. So here we are, it's really simple. You just drag and drop a SWIM, ICM SWIM network directly in. Uh, we have a few uh, issues with pollutants, so we'll pick a, a pollutant that matches the SWIM-5, so total phosphorus goes to TPH. Not really a good match for TSS, so we'll just use, uh, probably should use SF1. So we'll just use TKN for now. Imported all the data. Now we'll zoom to the network, and we have our network. So basically, the same network that we just imported. We validate that, and there's a few issues with uh, small links. So we'll take care of that just by changing the properties. You can also use the pound default to, to fix that issue. So now we've uh, validated uh, our ICM network. And we'll go back to the master database. And we'll commit. Now we have two committed really fast ICM SWIM and ICM network from our Info SWIM model network. And now we can go and actually run the model. We're going to run the model, make sure that the time step is correct. So we'll run the model for one day. So end analysis on the 19th. Click OK. Go ahead and run it. So ICM Swim works exactly like ICM networks. And we can check the um, zoom to network. We can check the uh, progress bar. Good job, progress. It's basically just finished. And now we can do our normal ICM task of open as. The import file is exactly the same as SWIM 5. It tells you what computer you use, what the mass balance is, and the various tables. Let's close that. Control area. And now we can drag in the SIM and actually do the graph. So we'll look at impervious runoff, uh, phosphorus, and rainfall. Click, we get our graphs. It's a very simple, very easy process to import InfoSwim to ICM Swim.